guys, it's Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Sorry there's a bit of an echo, but I'm standing inside of my apartment and it's so crazy. I feel like I'm going to be going back home or something soon. It doesn't feel like I'm actually moving in. So before I started to bring in furniture and everything, I wanted to show you guys an apartment tour of it completely empty. This way when I do decorate it, you guys can see the transformation of what I decided to do. So let's go ahead and get started by the front door. So right now I'm standing at the foyer, which is where you walk into my apartment. This is a one bedroom, one bath, 745 square foot apartment. So so the first thing you see when you walk into the door is the kitchen which happens to be my favorite part of my place because it's so open it's a great type of conversational room it's really nice it has this breakfast bar which I did mention I will be putting bar stools here I think I can have three but I only bought two so maybe I'll go get a third one but I love 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 this just have my personal items there I have a sink a double sink here there's a dishwasher in this apartment which is fantastic I do hand wash certain things so it's nice to know that there's enough room here and stuff to let them dry on this wall we have more cabinetry and more cabinets and drawers which is great for space and storage I think this is like a really nice benefit to my space I also have a stove here which is gas an oven a microwave I like how it's black I don't know I like black appliances. Black and stainless steel is my favorite. So here's just a peek inside the cabinets. You can see how much storage space. I won't even use half of it, I can tell you guys. But it's nice to know that it's here if I ever do need it. My favorite part is this long countertop. It's great because I can have appliances out like my blender or something and my tea maker and also I can prep and prepare my food when I eat it and stuff. So that's really nice. I have some drawers for silverware. Of course, everything is empty. My movers don't come for a couple more days, but this is just awesome. So tons of storage. I love it. And then this here is supposed to be like a little pantry so I can put like cereals and stuff in here. Just the space is endless. It's great. So I'll close that up. And here's my fridge, my freezer. So they just turned it on for me too because it was off. So my fridge. Lots of cool shelving going on. It's just like a basic fridge, nothing too fancy, but it's just me and I love it because it's all mine. All mine. This is where you leave the kitchen, but there's this closet, which is my coat closet. And this is where I'll keep my vacuum cleaner and like coats. And there's the front door again, a whole bunch of light switches that go with like these lights. I love those, the spotlights and stuff and that light. And I definitely want to like do some cool painting, so if you guys have any paint color recommendations, leave those in the comments down below. I do like this color, although it's a little bit plain. It's nice and refreshing, but I definitely want to spruce it up a bit. So my living room is a nice big open space. This is something else that I also do love in my apartment because I have so much room for my TV stand, which I plan to put over here. What I want to do on this wall is put my desk so I can edit my videos and sit down because I do spend a lot of time on the computer. So this wall is pretty big and what I do want to do is put like a huge mirror right along this wall just to help elongate the room and add some dimension. So there's definitely lots of space and lots of things that I can do with this space which I'm really grateful for and also that is a sliding glass door. I'm going to get some curtains or something something to spruce it up a little bit i want to show you guys my favorite feature which happens to be in this door which is my washing machine and dryer it's just a stackable i have been searching for an apartment this was the amenity that i had to have in my place i did not want to have to go walking down a hall to wash laundry in a public room i don't know i just feel uncomfortable with that and then having to leave it there and wait for it to be done i don't know it's just too much for me so i am definitely happy to say that i have a washing machine and a dryer we have the hallway which leads off into my bedroom and then this here is the bathroom i definitely want to put like some sort of art on this wall it's a little bit plain so i want to do something to spruce it up a bit okay so i'll take you guys into my bathroom next which is pretty spacious. I was definitely surprised when I walked in because I didn't think from the pictures I saw from my leasing management, it did not look this big at all. I actually packed my bathroom stuff so you guys will see on a vlog on my second channel, me putting my bathroom together decorative wise. And then up here, there's more storage, which is great for storing linens and you know me, my beauty products because I hoard stuff and I like to buy things and try them out. So this is a great way for me to store everything and like I said, towels 
and stuff like that. There's a commode and this little thing where I can hang my towels. And my other favorite part, which is where I started this video off, was the sink. Again, it's not the biggest countertop, but it's enough room for me and all the products and curling irons and stuff that I need to use. And there's also a nice size mirror, which is great for doing makeup and stuff. I still have to get a vanity and like other furniture pieces. So I'm still shopping for that, which you guys will see me going shopping on my second channel. So I'll link that down below for you. But there's more storage, of course, just basic under the sink storage, which I'll probably keep cleaning supplies. I don't really like putting beauty products under my sink for some reason. Then we have the medicine cabinet, which I actually do keep medicine in these things. I feel like beauty gurus keep a lot of makeup products. But I do keep band-aids and Benadryl and stuff like that in here. So that's my bathroom. I'll take you guys into my bedroom because, you know, we get frisky like that. So there's the entryway to my room, which is, again, pretty spacious. I'm pretty interested to see how well my bed fits in here because it is a queen-size bed. But I do love the ceilings here. What is it called? Vaulted? I don't know what that thing is called. But, you know, like different levels, it definitely adds to the look when you're just looking in the room. So I do think I want to also paint my bedroom whatever color I decide on the living room. I'm thinking in the gray family. I had a gray bedroom before in my dad's house, and I absolutely loved it. So I'm thinking I'm going to go that same route. But I also have a balcony door that's a sliding glass door in my bedroom. So now let's go into my closet. I feel like I have so many favorite parts in my apartment, but honestly, I love this space so much. It was made for me, guys. You don't understand how, how happy I am to have a place to call my own. Okay, so I'm right back where I started. I got to show you guys my apartment. I am so happy and just thrilled that I get to share this experience with you guys. I am I'm so blessed and... This is a great time in my life and I feel like I wanna share it with you. I'd just like to thank you guys again so much for watching my videos and tweeting me awesome like tweets, like have a safe trip to California. Like you guys do not have to do that. And for you guys to even care, like that's just awesome. So you guys are honestly the best. And I hope to see you guys super soon with another new video. And thank you for watching. Bye guys. Bye.